Well, hello, and welcome back to the Signal Wire podcast studio. I'm joined again by Kevin Garabedian. Always a great pleasure to have Kevin along because he comes in to talk about the code snippets he's been working on. And let me just remind you that these code snippets are free code that we give out. It's working code. They're in um, GitHub for you to go and get hold of and work with. You can use them as they are. You can build on top of them. But they're there to encourage you to get on with your signal wide developments. And so, Kevin, hello to you today. Hey, Dave. How are you doing? I'm doing quite well. It's a beautiful day out. Got some birds flying around, uh, trying to make uh, the best of everything. And I uh, got some great code to share with you guys today. Good, good. Well, so, yeah, let's get right in. What code are we looking at today? Uh, basically, the demo I want to show off today is called uh, Calls and Text by Proxy. So what that's going to do, it basically accomplishes uh, masking or hiding, proxying the two callers or two parties so they can't see each other's phone numbers, but allows them to communicate. Right. Okay. And tell us, uh, give us a rough example of how would that, that get used in the real world? Sure. So if you ever use any of those rideshare uh, platforms out there, uh, you know, the, the lifts of the world and uh, the Ubers of the world, uh, they do a call by proxy masking. So if you lose something or you need to contact the driver to protect the privacy and identity of each of the people that have like a, a tiny trust with each other, but not a full trust, um, you would use a service like this or a piece of code like this uh, to basically protect each other. So they wouldn't know each other's personal identifiable information, but yet they can still communicate and accomplish what they need to. Right. Okay. Thanks for setting that in context. Um, would you like to talk any more about it, or do you just want to jump straight in and show people what you've got? Let's uh, let's jump into what we got over here. Uh, I'm going to pull up the repository, give you a little overview, and okay. then we're going to pull up the code and look at the code as well. Um, so the repository is called Snippets Call Text by Proxy. Uh, this one's set up in Python currently. You know, there's going to be more as request, and possibly down the future, we'll, we'll implement some other languages as well. Um, it has a little overview of whatever of everything as well. Um, basically, this is really, really simple. So this is going to be really great to share with you guys. There's one endpoint. It's just lookup session. Um, you have an environment file that you set up with your space, your project token, and you need two phone numbers if you want to do multiple sessions. Um, you could have one phone number handle many sessions, but if you want to be uh, handled, there's some circumstances where you may want to have more than one available. So um, as you go down, you'll also see you have a proxy session file. This is the most important piece. Um, you, right now we're setting it up just to show you uh, with a predefined session file. So right now here you see demo 123. This is one session and this is another session. Um, down here. So when participant A's number calls the proxy number, it will connect it to participant B. And if B calls the proxy number, it'll connect it to participant A. That's pretty much what this code is doing for you. And through the whole time, all the caller IDs and everything will be masked by the proxy. Um, and it also will support text messages. Um, so let's run into the code. We'll just scroll through it a little bit. Um, everything's commented. Good stuff. So as you as you can see here, we have the lookup proxy by session by proxy number. So this is the endpoint that we were just describing. And what this is going to be doing is going into that sessions file, uh, proxy sessions.json, and it's going to look at the proxy number, which is going to be the true value from what the people are calling. And the from value will become like one. And because right now we don't know if it's participant A or B. Um, then we're basically we're going to loop through the sessions and we're going to find out if it's like uh, what leg two is, if leg two is B or A so through an if statement. Um, if it didn't find anything, it'll automatically flag it as false. And that means that it won't be able to connect and it'll return a code appropriately. Um, if it did find it, it's going to set, uh, it's going to look for a call SID so it can tell if it's a voice or a message. Um, a call SID will only be on voice calls. A message SID will be a text. So this is how you handle text and voice. And this will automatically do the forwarding and the masking. Now, you're going to notice over here, we have the caller ID being added to the dial. So it hides the dial's number because by default, it's going to pass on whoever party A was to right. party B, even if it's going through an intermediary. So that you, 
Yeah, so that just that'll just help everyone um, get through this super super quick and easy. Um, you know, this is literally another demo that's probably you know less than thirty lines of code, fifty lines of code, um, but accomplishes a very uh, needed service. Great stuff, Kevin. Well, thank you for sharing that with us. That's excellent. And I know that you've got other bits of code stacked up that you're going to be uh, delivering for too long. So uh, we're looking forward to that. Um, now, if people want to suggest something that they'd like you to work on, um, they can comment on this video on YouTube, go in the comment section and add there, or get in touch with us. You can see our email addresses below there, david at signalwire.com or kevin at signalwire.com. And we'll be very happy to do code snippets for the kind of things that you're into as well. So with that Absolutely. said, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll rattle off. Thank you very much, Kevin, for coming along again and going through that uh, call by proxy demo with us. And uh, we look forward to seeing how people use that. No problem, Dave. Great, great to see you. And uh, everyone have a great day. All the best.